Rahul, finally, I want to come to the come to one topic uh, which I've been you know looking forward to speak to you about. Uh-huh. I have a lot of students, a lot of students who are asking me about the PG program in supply chain management at CBU, right? Uh-huh. Now the chief questions are, you know, we we have about uh, six to seven minutes left, so I will uh, wrap this uh, uh, session up with this question. Uh, what are the career opportunities in case of supply chain management in Nova Scotia? Why should a student study uh, PG in supply chain with you guys? Uh, first of all, as I already said, the place is hub of hospitality and tourism industry. A student who is qualified from supply chain, a student can have job, can have opportunities in different industries because. Mm-hmm. Even hospitality and tourism industry have got you know the requirement of yeah. people who are qualified in supply chain management. Absolutely. Apart from that, it's the Atlantic province. Atlantic mm-hmm. uh, Ocean is there, so we have ports there. Yeah. Canada, the biggest ports we have got there in Nova Scotia. Mm-hmm. So shipment, it happens there. Import export, it happens there. So we have got this opportunity as well. The student wants to have uh, you know the better opportunities of their program, so they can have their on Nova Scotia only, whether it is hospitality industry, tourism industry, import export industry, maybe the manufacturing firm. Yes, we have got that. We have shopping malls even. If mm-hmm. you want to be a store manager, you can become that. Mm-hmm. Supply chain student can have you know different roles in the different industries, whether it is related to logistics, related to store keeping, related to maybe uh, the you know the purchase or the sales. Correct. So there are opportunities available. Correct. Uh, what is the academic requirement for a student to enter into PG in supply chain? How much percentile does he require in bachelor's? In bachelor's, see, any student from any bachelor's, right, uh, can have the admission for supply chain management with overall 50%. Okay, 50%. Yes, uh, with IELTS of 6.5 with no band less than 6. Understood. Uh, is a student uh, with bachelor's in mechanical eligible for supply chain? Yes, student can have uh, the offer for supply chain of mechanical engineering. And, so it's yeah. the student's responsibility how students are, you know, they are convincing to the immigration to have. That, that is a separate part. That is a separate part. You know, we all understand that uh, in case of universities and in case of master's programs, PG programs, uh, a statement of purpose again plays a role. So that is fine. Uh, you know, at least from uh, admissibility point of view, I ask this question because we have queries from uh, mechanical engineering background students who who, exactly. who were refused admission into supply chain by some other Canadian colleges. So that is why I have spe- specifically brought this up. Yeah, even you know mechanical engineers and the civil engineers specifically, they Correct. they somewhere can uh, you know justify the relevancy for the supply chain. Excellent. 